Hello, Teacher Chana here and welcome back to Chana's Classroom. Before I begin with my lesson for today, I would like to share with you a funny story that happened to me several years ago. My friend Sarah and I were having lunch in one of the food chain here in Madrid, Spain. We were eating, we were laughing, we were chatting, we were talking about anything under the sun when suddenly she asked me if she could have some of my chips. I was so surprised because at that time, I didn't have any chips. I didn't order any. She knew that I was so surprised. That's why she pointed to, you know what? She pointed to my french fries. Chips? French fries? Yes, they are the same. Then I have realized that Sarah and I have a different orientation. Sarah has a British English orientation, and I have an American English orientation. Do you have a similar story to tell? Please share it in the comment box below. So for today, I'm going to share with you 50 word differences in British English and American English vocabulary. Joining me today is my son, Luis, who will tell you the British English, and I will tell you the American English vocabulary. So are you ready? Let's begin. Potato chips. Crisps. French fries. Chips. Candy. Sweets. Biscuits Cookies Zucchini Cogette Eggplant Aubergine Can Tin Take out Take away Pitcher Jug Clothes pin Clothes peg Costume Fancy dress Closet Wardrobe Sweater Jumper Tuxedo Soup Band-Aid Plaster Pants Trousers Vest Waistcoat Diaper Nappy Sneakers Trainers Stroller Push chair Cart Trolley Flashlight Torch Cell phone Mobile phone Vacuum cleaner Hoover Trash can Dustbin Garbage or trash Rubbish Apartment Flat First floor Ground floor Elevator Lift Line Q Pharmacy or drugstore? Chemist. Vacation. Holiday. Truck. Lorry. Pedestrian crossing. Zebra crossing. 
Parking Car Park Sidewalk Pavement Highway Motorway Subway Underground Traffic Circle Roundabout License Plate Number Plate Windshield Windscreen Zip Code Postcode Mail Post Mailman Postman Package Parcel A grade A mark Eraser Rubber Schedule Timetable Elementary school Primary school Period. Full stop. Period or full stop. These two words indicate the end of this lesson. So that's all for now, my dear students. Always remember, by words we create thoughts and by thoughts we learn life. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification for new updates. Bye for now and see you again next time.